Stücke. beautiful morning to remember and to give thanks. We remember, Lord, all those who have contributed by the gift of their lives to the freedom that we're so blessed to have in this great country. As we stand here today, we are reminded that freedom is never free, and that those who have preceded us have given us a gift that we can only pass along with gratitude to another generation. As we pray these words, we acknowledge, Lord, that it is only, it is only with your guidance and your grace that our efforts can produce a sense of security and peace for a time. For a moment now, Lord, let us give thanks to you for all blessings as we observe a moment of silence which we're invited to fill with spoken and unspoken prayers of gratitude to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear us as we pray. Bless now, we pray, those who have raced for others and whose presence here today become a sign of hope for those gathered here today and for those who are here in spirit. Bless this time together and help us to be ever mindful on this Memorial Day of your abiding presence with us as it has always been and which will always be even forevermore. All these things we pray in the name of all that we hold sacred and holy. Amen.
Thank you so much. Great job, gentlemen. Once again, welcome to the 2013 Patriot Festival, Charlotte. Now to give opening remarks, would you please give a nice warm welcome, nice round of applause for North Carolina Congressman from 9th District, Mr. Robert Pittinger. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Was Landon not incredible? If that doesn't light your fire, your wood's wet. He is terrific. Really appreciated him. Well, thank you for coming out today to honor those who have done all that was required and asked of them for our liberties. Many years ago, when I first moved to Washington, D.C., I was in my 20s, and I had a small apartment right above Iwo Jima Memorial. And every Tuesday at 5 o'clock, the Marine Band would come and they would serenade at Iwo Jima. And I would try to make it home in time for that 5 o'clock serenade and look out over my little balcony uh, to that wonderful dedication. On one certain Tuesday, as I looked out and looked down, they were dressed in different uniforms. And I thought, well, that's different, strange. So I went down the stairs and I found one of the lieutenants and I said, tell me, sir, what's going on today? He said, well, sir, today is the 200th anniversary of the Marines. And the uniforms we were dressed in are those that reflect all the battles and wars we fought in for the last 200 years. And my heart was really gripped because I realized the countless tens of thousands of lives that have been given that I had liberty that day and today. So I stand in awe of those who we honor on this day for their sacrifice, for those who are out there on the battlefield today, we go about our lives, and yet uh, in Afghanistan, Korea, and other parts of the world, uh, they're standing strong on our behalf. We've done much this week even to try to honor our vets. Uh, we've passed extended uh, veterans disability coverage, and we've done ex extended job training. We need to do more. You know, our Constitution is very clear that the, the, the sole purpose that is identified in the Constitution, the only thing, is to provide for the common defense. And that includes providing for veterans. So we stand strong for that, and we stand strong for them. So God bless you for coming out today and for your being here to reflect your commitment and patriotism for our country and for those who serve us with their love and, and servitude. Thank you. God bless you.